I am coming at you from sunny Sedona today. Uh, I thought I would make a quick video because um, there's not a lot to do at the cancer clinic. They want you to have a lot of um, downtime, rest time, which I'm totally taking. But um, it's nice to come up here and connect with the rock. This here is Sugarloaf. She's awesome. She's one of my favorites because she's easy to climb um, and you get rewarded at the top. So obviously I need to conserve some energy, but I still want to get out and have a hike here and there. Um, yeah, so my video today is um, 10 steps. What to do after you receive a scary diagnosis. So, um, it's a horrible thing. It's a horrible feeling. You think the worst right away. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. So that that doesn't feel good. Um, the number one step is stay calm. <laughs> good luck with that. But listen, I know that it's hard and it's scary. But um, you do get to a place where you're like, I just need to be calm about this. I need to move forward with. A rational mind and strength and belief in myself that I can do this um, you can heal yourself your doctor is not going to tell you that your doctor is going to give you all the bad news um, it's up to you to go and find the good news and this is what you're gonna do because you can do that you have the power um, step two is um, assemble a team so you're gonna need um, some help you're gonna need a a decent oncologist that you're on the same page with. Um, this video is not really what should I do? Should I have surgery? Should I have chemo? Should I have radiation? Should I go alternative therapy? Should I do herbal medicine? None of those things I can advise, of course, because your cancer is different from the cancer that is in my body is different from the cancer that is in her body, his body. We're all very different and individual and um, those are the decisions that you have to come up with with your family your doctors and yourself and they are very 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 difficult decisions um, so I am wishing you strength in those difficult times um, but you trust your gut and go with that as far as assembling a team you're gonna need an oncologist for sure uh, you're gonna need a somebody to give you nutritional advice if you don't have if you don't have like really good health um, kitchen knowledge um, diet it's hard to say what diet you're gonna be going on I mean obviously that's individual as well but um, you'll need somebody to advise you on nutrition you'll need a spiritual advisor you'll need somebody to like pray with or help you um, you know with your beliefs and your soul and your higher power and your you'll need someone whether that's your priest your mother nature your shaman your whoever it is um, you'll need them and you'll need your family and friends at this time so um, now's the time to let bygones be bygones drop any family drama grudges shite that has been going on for years and years whatever whatever let it go it's time to let it go and um, be fresh you have been given a diagnosis now it's your time to turn that diagnosis into a gift and uh, make amends with the people in your life forgive 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 it's very powerful um, step three on the journey is um, do you like this cacti prickly pear I love them so much I want to hug them they don't want me to hug them uh, water filter you are going to need a water filter um, I don't care where you live what kind of municipality if you trust your government if you trust your water you can't you cannot trust your water uh, go out get yourself a decent water filter if you have good money get a whole house filter that filters your bath water and your shower water and your drinking water um, if you don't have a lot of money um, you're gonna need something just like a countertop filter we bought um, something called the Berkey filter it's a UNICEF filter you can basically put sludge in it and get water out um, it does strip your water of minerals but you can replace minerals don't worry about that um, get yourself a water filter water is your life 
you need healthy water. Um, the other thing that I would recommend doing is getting a shower filter. Um, we got a good shower filter. It's not expensive, it's like $40 every six months. And um, you know, you're showering in filtered water. That's, your skin is an organ that absorbs a lot. So uh, you need to take good care of it now. Uh, step four, quit sugar, quit dairy. Um, you know that sugar isn't good for you. I don't need to tell you that. Uh, you don't have to quit fruit. Um, sometimes if you're really desperate, you can have a little bit of honey, a little bit of maple syrup, stuff like that. There are some other substitutes that people use, but really um, anything that contains sugar is just not good for you ever, but especially right now. It's time to say goodbye to sugar and your relationship with sugar. It will set you free. It's going to be great. I haven't had sugar for probably a year now, um, only in fruit, and uh, I feel awesome. Hi guys. <laughs> I feel awesome for it. The other thing that you need to do, is, um, the other thing that you should quit is dairy. Um, something about um, bovine growth hormone uh, will exacerbate any <clears throat> kind of problems in your body. It causes inflammation. It's really not good for you um, right now in this time of health crises, it's time to just take a break from dairy. Um, you can decide for yourself later on whether or not um, it's good for you to incorporate back into your diet, but right now it's best to leave it be. Um, and then you can figure out what you're gonna eat uh, slowly, day by day, um, what diet resonates with you, what your nutritionist, your naturopathic doctor, your oncologist. I mean, just, you're, you'll figure it out, but sugar, dairy, um, books to read. Step number five is um, get yourself a couple of books. The books that, oh, it's with me, the phone is gonna fly. Don't fly phone. <laughs> it's propped up on a juniper tree here. You can see the little branch up in the corner. Um, yeah, so uh, books to read. There are two books that I highly recommend reading right away. Uh, the first one is called Radical Remission. Um, this Radical Remission is a, is a story of, I think it's 14 different uh, people who all, their doctors told them, it's time, go get your affairs in order, there's nothing more I can do for you. Um, you have X amount of days, months, weeks left to live, and um, it's, it's over. And somehow, well, not somehow, they did it themselves, they managed to turn their health around. Um, some people used Tai Chi, some people used like herbs, some people used sound healing, like, I mean, it's, it's a lot of information, but really, really, really inspiring. And um, it proves that everyone can heal if you give yourself the opportunity to. Uh, the other book that proves that theory is a book called Dying to Be Me. Um, this author, Anita Morjani, she was um, basically dead. Her doctor, her husband had her funeral planned. Um, her doctors were just saying, you know, it's time, I'm sorry, we're gonna unplug the machines, blah, 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 but again, I don't know how she did it. Um, she tells you in the book, like it's, it's uh, it was about her faith and her belief and she believed that it wasn't her time and she is now a thriving author, speaker, um, motivational person. She's awesome. So um, yeah, uh, Radical Remission, Dying to Be Me. Get them, read them, audiobook, every, every version. Just get all of them and believe in it. Step number six is uh, go, you're gonna have to detox your body because your body is sending you a signal right now. Um, it's toxic for whatever environmental toxins because of your poor diet over the years, because of um, some medication that you've taken, who knows, but um, now's the time to detox a little bit. So look into um, lymphatic cleansing uh, lymphatic stimulation, our lymphatic system is really, really important, but um, we don't talk about it. I think I'll actually make a separate video altogether because um, I had a tumor, well, tumors in my lymph system and um, I didn't know anything about my lymphatic system. Now I know a ton about my lymphatic system. It's very important. 
uh, liver cleansing, um, you're going to want to get tested for like certain parasites and um, look into parasite cleansing, look into um, organ cleansing, look into just uh, ways to support your system because your system is uh, sluggish right now. Obviously, it sent you a message via a tumor or however you got diagnosed, however you um, figured out that you weren't well right now. But um, as you detox the system, your liver um, can function better and everything just will be cleaner and flow better and, and it's detox time. And a detox never hurt anybody. So that's step number six. Step number seven is you're gonna have to detox your kitchen, your bathroom, and your beauty supplies. So um, when I say that, I mean uh, detox your kitchen. Um, are, have you purchased the best groceries that you possibly can purchase for yourself? Are you, is your food organic? Do you know where your food comes from? Um, are your cleaning products clean or are they very toxic and dangerous for you and your family? Are, is your makeup dirty? Is your um, shampoo full of fragrances and chemicals that you do not need to be putting on your body right now or ever for that matter? Um, detox, detox your life, detox your body, um, clean it up. We have way too much toxic shit. Basically when you walk into the grocery store, when you pass the produce section, that's as far as you're, you go to be safe. And that sounds dramatic, but like your laundry detergent, your the fabric softener is so bad for you. Um, bounce, um, dish soap, tub cleaner, tile cleaner, bleach, oh my gosh, floor cleaner, you name it, it's bad. So seek an alternative, go for vinegar, go for um, the essential oils companies are making some really nice products. Even in your regular grocery store, if you just go to the natural aisle, yeah, it's more expensive, definitely. Um, it is, but your health is worth it and you need to um, shell out some extra cash right now. That's okay. Um, step number eight is a bit of a controversial one, but I would recommend highly getting your medical marijuana card, uh, depending on where you are in the world, depending on what your access is like. Um, this industry is just waking up and people are realizing the benefits of medical marijuana, but um, as a cancer patient, I think it's really, really important, especially if you're going to take chemotherapy. My God, it's a horrible experience. I speak from experience. I could not have gotten through it without my medical marijuana. My medical marijuana has gotten me through a lot. Um, on this journey, I haven't taken a lot of painkillers, even though I've been in some pain, some pretty serious pain. I've had fractures in the ribs and all kinds of stuff going on. Um, when you're nauseous, which is all the time, it helps. When you're in pain, it helps. When you can't sleep, it helps. Um, it also reduces inflammation in the body, so it has many benefits. Um, you can, you're gonna have to do your own research and talk to your medical practitioner about the different types of um, strains, different types of um, CBD, THC, THCA, THCB, there's lots of different ways to, um, it's actually quite complicated, but a little bit of digging on the internet and a little bit of conversation with um, your medical practitioners and you can figure it out for yourself. It's um, something that I recommend. It's probably not for everybody, but it's definitely for me, 100%. And uh, step number nine. I would recommend go, uh, finding yourself a decent dentist, a holistic dentist, or um, somebody who um, believes in the tooth meridian. So you can just do a quick Google. Um, each tooth uh, ha governs a different part of the body, and um, I actually had a thermography scan, and it showed that I had all infection going down my um, right face into my neck right into my right breast where is my affected um, side and that was pretty telling to see so I have a lot of amalgam fillings and I have a couple of root canals up here and um, yeah stuff needed to be seen too um, there there can be trapped bacteria up there there there's a lot of different things but um, it's worth it to get your dental health cleaned up if you um, do a quick Google of dental health and cancer. Um, you'll find a ton of articles. You'll also find articles that um, deny all of those claims. So 
do your own research, of course. You're, you're now a professional researcher. Congratulations. Uh, with your diagnosis. Uh, step number 10 is the most important one. Can you see step number 10? Uh, step number 10 is believe in yourself. Um, you can heal. You can heal. You. It's up to you. You're kind of on your own. Your doctor is not going to heal you. Your husband is not going to heal you. Your children are not going to heal you. Your grandmother cannot heal you. You can heal you and um, you have to find it within yourself to figure this out. Um, I've been battling now for a year and a half. I'm not out of the woods by any stretch of the means. I have very active cancer in my body. Um, it knows it's not welcome there. I've asked it to leave, so it's on its way out the door. And uh, I found this amazing clinic in um, Sedona, Arizona. Um, you can message me, I'm happy to give you more information. Uh, it's not cheap. I had to ask my community for financial help, um, which was really, really tough for me and awkward and uncomfortable, but I did it and man, are my people amazing and I'm here and I'm grateful and it's an awesome experience and this life is so beautiful. Uh, but I want you to believe in yourself, okay? I believe in myself that I can do this and you can do it too. We all have the same abilities and power. We're all equal human beings. And um, I hate the fact that the medical community tell you that you can't do this. I've been told I can't do this by so many different people. I've had doctors roll their eyes at me. I've had doctors tell me I'm wasting my time, wasting my money, wasting my energy. <sighs> but that's not true. That's not true. So, um, if you're watching this and you're newly diagnosed, I am sending you my love and my strength. I'm beside you. Um, you can always reach out to me via Facebook, via Instagram, via YouTube. Um, I'm Hollis Connor, I think, across the board. And um, I'm always happy to help. Uh, I'll leave my email address down in the description box, down bar, whatever you call that thing. And uh, you can email me and we can have a conversation. Uh, thank you for watching and listening to me blab on. Love you guys. You can do it.